Wireless electricity, Psh, whatevs. Kidding, it's kind of a big deal. Just like the hoverboard, self-driving cars, and terrifying killer robots, this idea is no longer purely science fiction. Already, today, we can wirelessly power aircraft, smartphones, pacemakers, cars, and electric toothbrushes. Well, the idea of wireless electricity was conceived by a German physicist by the name of Heinrich Hertz in 1888, when he proved the existence of electromagnetic waves. A few years later, mega geek Nikola Tesla, such a hottie, took the idea and created the first high tension induction coil, which he used to demonstrate the wireless transmission of electricity. By 1896, Tesla claims to have increased the range of his wireless energy transmission system to 48 kilometers. How does this insane concept work? Let's take a look. This is a transmission pancake coil, and no, you can't eat it, that's connected to a nine volt battery, a resistor, and a transistor. This is a receiver coil that has an LED attached to it. When the transmission coil is powered, it sends an AC current through the coil, which generates an oscillating magnetic field. When I hold the receiver coil over the top, David Blaine ain't got nothing on this. The receiver is picking up the energy from the magnetic field and powering the LED. It's a phenomena called magnetic resonance. Tesla's wireless energy designs never really took off the ground. And for nearly 50 years, this idea sat at the bottom of humanity's too hard basket. But since the 70s, we've made rapid improvements in energy efficiency and transmission distance. And with the development of the Qi inductive power standard, we're seeing a more mainstream adoption of near field wireless energy transmission. Soon, we'll all be like, cable schmables, plugging in your phone to charge it is so lame. How long will it be before we can power an entire city block wirelessly? That's wireless electricity done. What's next? Click here.